Okay, so um, the, I guess the origin of the Felixa was that um, because cats are hunters rather than scavengers, so uh, foxes and dingoes have a long nose, they smell out food, they'll regularly take baits. Um, cats will really only take a bait if they're really hungry. And um, when there's lots of prey around, uh, yeah, they they don't really take baits. But but what they do do is they're very fastidious about being clean. They're very clean animals. If they've got some um, some gel on their fur, they'll lick it off. And that was, I guess, one of the, the few bright sparks I've had of inspiration in my life. If we can somehow apply the toxin to their fur rather than trying to conceal it in a bait, it um, we might be more successful. So I tried a whole lot of different tools, or ways of, of doing that based on simple simple soap dispensers and things like that. And eventually through trial and error and a lot of expense and a lot of input from organisations and NGOs, including Save the Bilby Fund, who were one of my first supporters, uh, we came up with a Felixer. And I guess the the concept of the Felixer is it's it's reasonably simple. We're trying to deliver toxin to the fur, to the to the Achilles heel of the cat. Wow. But also it's really important to me that um, any monitoring tool or any management tool is firstly really target specific. So um, we didn't want to impact, you know, bilbies, but also sleeper lizards or goannas or eagles or things like that. So um, and some some tools that we use, you know, do expose uh, native wildlife to toxins and things like that. The other the other really important driver was it had to be humane. Um, I even though I recognise cats are a major or feral cats are a major major problem. Domestic cats that are roaming are a major problem as well uh, to wildlife. Um, it's really important that we manage them humanely, and you know, I didn't want to be involved in any technique. That wasn't so looked into um yeah the tools and the toxins and things like that pretty carefully and um we've done lots of trials we've videotaped lots of cats uh, feral cats that have been put in pens with felixes with different toxins and things like that and i'm now really confident that what we've got with the um the felixes are being really target specific and getting more so the new felixes we've got have even got an, an ai camera an artificial intelligence camera in them which makes them even more target specific and um, yeah, videoing and having other people watch and observe how cats um, succumb to the poison. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really confident and convinced that it's a really humane. Um, I've seen foxes, I've seen dogs that have taken 1080 baits and they get um, hyperactive and they they run around and it looks like they're in pain. It's really quite distressing to watch. Uh, with the cats that I videoed. They um, they behave very much the same as a cat that's been uh, poisoned by a pap, which is you know considered a really humane toxin. They basically fall asleep, and you have to watch really hard with the video to and and work out whether they're dead or not because they get drowsy and fall asleep. So so yeah, they they fall asleep and and just and and virtually die in the sleep. There's no manic running around or um, so yeah so yeah I'm I'm confident that Felixes are a, a humane and a targeted tool. And, you know, Save the Bilby at Currawinia there, we installed some of the first, uh, one of the first five Felixes ever built, uh, maybe five or six years ago, uh, went out to Currawinia. And since then, we've we've had Felixes now in every state of Australia, um, except there are none actually deployed in Victoria, but they're on Christmas Island. We've now got 200 Felixes around the place. They've... Um, They've proven to be very target specific. There are some habitats where they're challenging to use, where there's not enough so sunlight for the solar panels in forests and things like that. But out in the desert country, um, they've been working really well and um, been helping to protect bilbies at a number of locations. Um, yeah, rock wallabies. Uh, we've got some um, going out to night parrot country and 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 other threatened species um, in the desert. So yeah, that's where we're at.